Hello, Lulis. So, welcome back to my channel. Guys, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you click the link in the description bar to be a part of the chatter box. The chatter box is $1.99 to join. Um, also, if you want, you can get your merch as well. You'll see it there with the little onesies and all that. That is stuff that helps support my channel. Okay, so um, here's the thing. Puck Santana is the Puck Sculpt by Lillian Breville. He was sculpted by Lillian Breville, but he was molded, poured, and painted and rooted by Claire Teller. So, um, he is one of those dual combo babies, <laughs> if you want to call him that. Um, where's his stuff? I was going to put him on. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So, he is like Equiflex 20. His head still fall back. He is, ooh, Equiflex 20. A lot of people nowadays be like, I don't want Equiflex 20. I don't want Equiflex 20. And he also have a jointed um, head, which is also a thing of the past for the most part nowadays. Um, but it's funny how when I first got him, um, he, I said, oh, okay, he looks, he feels a little bit firmer, but not too much, you know. Um, I was, I was impressed about how his head flopped back because I, I still, I like that because the silicones that I had had previously didn't really flop as nicely as his head flopping back, even though he was on a jointed neck. Um, but, 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 I didn't feel like he was that much different from, you know, see, like he, and he doesn't, he doesn't have much bend. His, you see his arch don't bend as much. His head does flop and his legs flop. His arms don't flop because he has a full armature. Um, but I didn't. I didn't think he was that much more firmer because back when I got my other silicone babies, my other Claritella babies, they were soft, but they wasn't this new soft because even. Even the premium dolls were soft, but not as soft as what she does now. So, I was perfectly okay with it. I'm still okay with it. Um, when I got Bella, I was like, oh man, this is nice. Um, and Bella was the taste sculpt by um, Claire Teller, and she was the kit. Um, but she was the prototype. And I was just like, okay, this is nice. So I really like that new change, but I realized that they got a little bit softer than that the kids did. So I was like, okay. So what I'm saying to you guys is that we will forever be on a chase if we think we're going to, you know, we got to get the, the newest, the latest feel. And stuff like that. So I just, you know, I have to chuckle to myself because now it's like, man, you know, Puck feels so much firmer now to me because when I pick up, you know, my Willow, my Clitello, or my, um, you know, my Alex, or, you know, my other babies, he feels, you know, like a little baby brick compared to them, I ain't gonna lie, um, because they are so soft. But I, in all actuality, he's soft too. He's not, he's not rock hard. And, but it's because I have other things to compare it to. And that's kind of how it goes. But I really love Pup. I love Pup more than most of my babies. Um, I've been a fan of the sculptor for a while. Um, you know, like any other sculptor, 
it's a hit and miss. Um, you know, sometimes I, I, I feel like, you know, artists do things. I don't know if they're listening to the crowds or what, or they just want to switch it up sometime and they kind of, you know, lose their way or they change and they change to something that I'm just like, okay, why did you do that? <laughs> I, I was liking that. Why did you change? You know what I mean? Um, and, it, and it happens. Um, both with Claire and um, Lillian, they've had dolls that I just absolutely did not want no parts of, like, um, but overall, they've been my, my go-to. Um, <clears throat> I think Lillian is a beautiful sculptor, um, as well as Claire. Claire is just more of a, a realist, like, she kind of focused more on, like, the proportions and you know different stuff like that she she try to get right um and I think it's more because she collects dolls as well um so it, it makes a difference to me when artists are collectors themselves because they kind of know what what collectors want you know especially if you never hold your dolls, you never, you just sculpt, 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 you don't know. Like you, you know, you don't know what it feels like or what it looks like when you're trying to dress this baby. And, you know, it's, it's got these different things about it. Um, honestly, a lot of people, you know, say Claire has some funny looking faces and that's, that's their hang up with her. And for me, you know, Lillian doesn't necessarily get the body right. A lot of times that would be my hang up there. But with both of them, I think they do babies with realistic expressions, realistic faces. And I like realistic, even if it's not that cute. <laughs> so, you know, they just kind of do it for me. But. You know, sometimes I, I just wish that, you know, they would not switch up. Well, I ain't gonna say that. I like, I like change, but I don't know. Sometimes it'd be like totally different from the last baby. I'd be like, oh man, what happened? <laughs> but anyway, um... And Lillian always used the same prototype artist, which um, I'm going to leave that to no comments, but I'm just going to say it's kind of like the same thing with the Reborns. You know, it get old after a while. You know, you can almost guess the look, the style, the same. Same old, same old. But it's been working. So, you know, that's the thing. Us collectors, we can complain all we want. But if it works for these artists, that's what they're going to stick to. Because they ain't really particular about what makes us giggle and, and, and like the dolls. They're more concerned about what is selling their dolls. What is going to bring them money. And our little comments and commentary and what we don't and, and, and do like ain't weighing on their pocket so therefore they could care less that's just the way it goes so to tell the whole truth um and I know that I don't think a lot of other people know that I think they think if they scream and holler and all this that the artists are listening to them and sculptors will listen to them and some do cause some some are some some Sculptors kind of see what the people want, but you got to know what people you're listening to. Are you listening to the people that don't buy your dolls? Are you listening to the people 
that just like to talk and complain about everything they see, which ain't gonna buy Jack from nobody. So those are not the people I would be listening to. If I was a sculptor, I would be listening to the people that buy their dogs all the time. But yeah. But anyway, everything is so expensive now. I ain't buying nothing right now. I am on a chill break. Because my life has gotten too busy and too much stuff going on to where I can't afford my life and dolls. Look at Pucky Pucky. I love him. You know what I loved about this baby? I think I love about this baby so much what makes me make him better than all the rest of my babies. Um... I love Lillian's face. I love her sculpting on this particular kit. And Claire Teller, of course, hands down, is in a league on her own with painting. And it was just the perfect combination for me. And that's what I love the most. Um, I often wished that, you know, that I could get a, a baby like this from like Bonnie Brown. That would be the ultimate dream. Like to have Bonnie Brown sculpt a baby, clear teleport it and paint it. I probably would fall over for dead. I probably would sell my car to get that doll. You know, okay, now I'm lying. But you know what I mean. I would that would be like the ultimate dream. So put that on my make it my my make a wish foundation there. Um I don't know. So, anyway, guys, that's all. I don't have anything else to say. Just rambling, just sharing my little thoughts. Love my Puckapoo. Um, guys, if, like I said, if you haven't checked out his series, he has a Puck series. It's in the playlist. You know, anytime you don't see videos from me for a day or so, always go back and check out my playlist. I have tons of videos. I've been doing YouTube for uh, six years now, and I have over 2,000 videos uploaded so lots and lots of time and effort has been put into this channel and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for continuing to watch to support to comment um some of you guys have been here from the first box opening on the floor um when I first moved in this house and my master bedroom was empty and I opened London uh, by Denise Pratt I think that's who it was or was it who who was she by I don't know, but I opened my first baby that I bought off of eBay. Um, so, not the first baby that I bought, but the first box opening I did on here. Um, so, some of you guys have been here for a while, and it, it means a lot. You know, I see a lot of times, you know, where YouTubers, you know, you know, kind of trash their audience, and I've actually been one of the ones that's been like, you know, y'all hate me, blah, 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 da, 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 you know, and then, you know, you, you focus on those few people that hate your channel, hate you, and you have way more people supporting and loving you, and I think that us as creators, we need to embrace that and focus more on that part. Um, you know, we all gonna get thumbs downs, we all gonna get ugly comments, you know, but if you want to be out here in this YouTube streets, girl, you better stand up, fix your own crown, get it together, walk like a queen in these streets. Girl, listen, they used to call me a drama queen. I said, oh, listen, I, don't, I ain't even paid attention to the drama. All I said is, oh, they called me a queen. Yes, God. You know, so you got to you gotta do you. So, and that's slang. That means be yourself, be great. Accept yourself for who you are and if whoever else accepts you, you know, appreciate them and those that don't, they don't matter. Love you guys. Be great.